Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing lesson 9.5, which is another money lesson. And this lesson particularly is great because it is very believable. Um, there's going to be many, many times in your lives that this lesson is going to come into play and you're going to have to figure out um, how much money you owe or if you want to split money or um, how much more money you get than somebody else. So this is a very useful lesson. So in the lesson, we're going to do two problems together, and you're going to do one by yourself today. So the first problem we're going to do is on page 519 in your Unit 9 math book. And it's the unlock the problem right here. So let's get started right away. Okay. Um, before you try any problems on your own today, please make sure you watch at least one of these problems. I would advise you to watch both because they're both similar, but there are some differences that you're going to want to know to do. All right. So <coughs> it says together, Marnie and Serena have $1.20. They want to share the money equally. How much money will each girl get? Use this graphic organizer here to help us solve the problem. All right. So for today's lesson, it's going to take some diagramming and writing some stuff down. So it says that there's two girls, Marnie and Serena. They have a dollar twenty, which is right here. Here's one dollar and two dimes. So one dollar ten twenty. One dollar twenty cents. This word right here, equally, they want to share it. So that means they're actually dividing it up into two equal groups. So they want it to be fair, they want it to be equal. Um, if that word equal wasn't there, then they could share it however they want. But because that word equally is there, that's a key word, and that's going to let us know that it has to be the same amount for each girl. So what do I need to find? Well, I need to find how much money each girl will get. It says it right here. How much money each girl is going to get. So that's right. I need to find the money. I'll do the dollar symbol. Each girl gets. And again, guys, you're writing this down in your books as I'm writing it on my Chromebook because you want to have this as a reference, especially for tomorrow's check-in. Each girl gets. All right. It's good to be able to look back in your book too, and it'll help you tomorrow. What information do I need to use? Well, I know that the total amount of money that they have is $1.00. And 20 cents. So what I want to do with that is I want to divide that up and I'm going to divide it up into two equal groups. So I have Marnie. So I'm going to do M and then I have Serena. And I'll do S and I'm going to divide it into two equal parts and that would be Marnie and Serena. Now for this problem, they're starting us off kind of easy, right? They gave us the coins here. They even gave us the coins to start the problem. The problem you're going to do, they're not giving us the coins, so we're going to have to draw them ourselves. So how am I going to use this information? Well, I will use the coins to model the total and act out the problem. Okay? So we can make $1.20 with, instead of $1 bill, which they did here, they did $1 bill and two dimes, which each dime is worth 10. Instead of doing that, we could do it with four quarters. So here's one, two, three, four, and two dimes. So we're going to do that instead. So what we did was we actually traded in that paper dollar bill, and we traded that paper dollar bill in for four quarters because four quarters would equal that $1. Okay, now you guys can see here that I have Marnie is going to get a quarter, which is 25. Serena is going to get a quarter, which is 25. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is I want to make sure they're getting the same amount. So she gets one, she gets one. Marnie gets another. Serena gets another quarter. All right, and that would break up that whole dollar that we just had. Now I have two dimes. Now I'm going to divide that equally amongst two girls. So each student is going to get 
one dime. Now, what I'm going to do here at the end is I'm going to simply just look down this row and oh, my light just turned on. And I'm going to see that all I have to do is kind of add up. This is what we were doing yesterday. So Marnie's going to get 25, 50, add 10 more, 60 cents. Serena's going to get 25, 50, 60 cents. So each girl is going to get how many quarters? One, two. And how many dimes? Each girl gets one dime. Don't make this mistake. People, they'll count all the quarters and they'll say each girl's going to get four quarters and two dimes. No, that's what we started with. That was our total amount. We then divided it up. We drew a line down the middle. All right. This is what Marnie gets. This is what Serena gets. So together, I'm sorry, each girl is going to get zero dollars and 60 cents. Again, we know that because 25, 50, 60. All right. So anytime we see that word equally, that lets us know to divide it up. Okay. And it has to be equal. All right. So that's the first problem. Let's go to, I believe it's the last page. No, it's not the last page. It's this page. What page is this? I think it's 521, I want to say. Yes. So flip to page 521, and we're going to do a problem about our girl, Sophia. All right. So this problem is similar, but it's a little different. This problem, they do not give us any paper bills or coins to model. We're going to have to be responsible for that. We don't want to just do this in our head either. I know some of you are, I'm sure some people already stopped the video. Don't do that. I'll show you why. It's going to get tricky now. Sophia has $2.25. She wants to give an equal amount to each of, the three, of her three younger cousins. How much will each cousin receive? Okay. So again... Sophia is being very generous. She has $2.25. She's giving all of it away to three cousins. Now, does anybody see a key word? Equal. That means, again, each girl is going to get the same amount. So if they all get an equal amount, how much does each girl get? All right. So now that I know that, I'm going to underline that. How much will each girl receive? So what I want to do is I want to do So what I want to do is I want to make over here um, the same thing that we had before. So I want to show $2.25. So I'm going to have cousin number 1, cousin number 2, and cousin number 3. All right? The other problem I was dividing it between two people. This one I'm dividing it between three people. So I'm going to start with my highest amount first. So my highest amount, this is just like division, guys. And some people might say, well, why don't we divide? Because we didn't learn how to divide yet with decimals. So we're going to do it with actual coins. Okay. So my highest amount is the $2. Well, I have more groups than that. I have one, two, three. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go to the highest coin. And I'm going to ask myself, how many coins am I going to need if I trade in $2 bills? So think to yourself, how many coins are in $1? Okay, and think of the highest coin. Well, I know quarters are the highest, most common coin. There is a half dollar coin, but they're not very common. So I'm going to trade in my quarters. I'm sorry, my dollar bills for my quarters. So I'm going to have eight quarters here. Holy moly. So what I can do is I can just make Qs. That'll be a little easier, actually. And the Q stands for quarters. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm drawing Qs, guys, well, they're, it's Q stands for quarters. I'm drawing eight because I know that one, two, three, four of them, that would equal one dollar. One, two, three, four, that would equal two dollars. But now I can divide all these guys up. Okay, but before I do that, I want to show, I don't want to forget, I have 25 more cents. So that means I'm going to draw one more quarter. Okay, 
Now, this is very similar to an older lesson we did back in December, January-ish, I want to say. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to write one in each group, and then I'm going to slash it, get rid of it. Okay, so let's draw our first quarter. So cousin number one, here we go. Quarter, slash. We're going to do another quarter, slash. I like slashing them. Cousin number three, here you go. Put that quarter in your pocket. Don't lose it. All right. All right, cousin number one, I'm back to you now. And notice how every single time I'm going cousin one, cousin two, cousin three. All right. That's what you want to do. So I'm back to cousin one, slash. Cousin number two, slash. Cousin number three, slash. All right. Now I gotta go back to cousin number one again. We dig real deep in my pocket here. Cousin number one, you get another quarter. Cousin number two, I will also give you another quarter. Slash it. And cousin number three, you will also get another quarter. And don't forget to slash that last one. Now you can see here, I've used up all my quarters. That is probably the best way to go about doing this so you don't make a silly mistake. A lot of fourth graders want to try to do this in their head and that's where the mistakes will happen. So my advice to you, fourth graders, almost fifth graders, make sure you draw your pictures and slash away. Um, now, could I have done this with a dollar bill? No, I could not. All right, let's pretend this line, these are my $2 bills, All right? Here's my quarter. So $1, $2, $2.25, $2.25. I could not do it so that they all get an equal amount. Cousin number one would get a dollar. Cousin number two would get a dollar. Cousin number three would be left with a quarter. That's why we had to trade those dollars in for quarters, okay? So if some of you are wondering why we did that, it's because we can't divide up those $2 bills equally. Right? And it was very specific in the problem, that word right here, equal. It has to be an equal amount. So now let's count. All we have to do now is add. All right, each cousin's going to get 25, 50, 75. Okay, three quarters. They're all getting three quarters. So each cousin will get, I'm going to write it in a dollar amount, zero dollars. And 75 cents okay so that is it what you are gonna do for me for the problem today it's gonna be on the same flip grid as yesterday you're gonna do number eight on page 522 all right so I want you guys to try that now now you'll see there's some space over here to show your work it says Amy and three of her friends I'm going to get you started. If you are still watching, you're in good shape because this is key. Amy and three of her friends. So how many total people are we talking about here? If it's Amy and three of her friends. A lot of people, when they do this, they'll do three. But don't forget about Amy. So when you do your people, you're going to do one, two, three, four. Okay, four people we're talking about in this problem have three quarters and one nickel. If Amy and her friends share that money equally, there's that word equally again, how much will each person get? So that's including Amy. So they have three quarters and one nickel. So first of all, you have to know how much money that is. So do that in your head, three quarters and a nickel. And what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to probably trade in some of those quarters. So think about what you're trading those quarters in for. All right, think about how much a quarter is worth. You're going to trade that quarter in for something. All right, so go ahead and get started, and then you can either post it in the Flipgrid and explain, um, and you can send me a picture of your work. Do not just send me a picture of the answer. I need to see your work. All right, guys, go ahead and get started, and I can't wait to see your answers.